What's up everybody and welcome to this lesson on parallel and perpendicular lines. We'll start off by saying that if two or more lines are parallel, then their slopes are the same and we're going to go ahead and explore what that means. So let's look at two parallel lines graphed on the coordinate plane. We'll go ahead and plot a set of points on each line so that we can begin to find the slope. Notice that the rise for each line slope is going to be up 3 units. The run is going to be going to the right 5 units. So we can see that the slope for each line is going to be 3 over 5. Now since these lines have the same slope, we can say that they are parallel because they are increasing at the same pace and therefore by definition they will never intersect. However, if lines are perpendicular, that means that they form a right angle, then we can say that their slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. We'll also refer to this as flip and switch. So let's look at a set of perpendicular lines on the coordinate plane. Now let's notice how the green line has a negative slope. It's decreasing from left to right. We'll choose two points and calculate the rise over the run. We're rising down six units, and then we're moving over to the right seven units. So the slope of the green line is negative six over seven. Now since the purple line is perpendicular, the slope is going to be a negative reciprocal. And again, what that means is flip and switch. We take the slope of the other line, we flip it, and we switch the sign. So in this case now, it becomes positive 7 over 6. Now you're probably asking why did we do that? Let's take a look at the slope of the purple line now. If we go from point to point, we're rising up 7 units, and then we're moving to the right 6. And this negative reciprocal relationship between the slope of two lines will end up in those two lines being perpendicular to each other. So now we'll look at a few examples where we have the opportunity to apply these concepts. So on this graph, we are provided with a line S that passes through the points negative 4, 0 and positive 5, positive 2. We're also provided with a point J with coordinates negative 2, 4 that is not on the line. Now our goal is to construct a line that goes through point J that is parallel to line S. Now the word parallel should tip us off to thinking same slope. So we can go ahead and find slope the easy way just by calculating rise over run. We should notice that moving from point to point we're moving up 2 units and to the right 9. So the slope of line S is 2 over 9. Now we know that our parallel line will have the same slope. So we're going to repeat that slope starting from point J by rising up 2 units and then running to the right 9 units and then plotting a new point. And finally, all we need to do is construct a new line through those two points that is parallel to line S with a slope of 2 over 9. Okay, let's look at a different example now. Here we have a line T passing through two points, negative 3, negative 1, and negative 1, positive 7. We have a point K that is not on the line, and we want to construct a line that is perpendicular to line T that passes through that point K. So when we see perpendicular, we need to think negative reciprocal slopes. So first we need the slope of line T. So let's go ahead and count the rise over run. Moving from point to point, we're moving up 8 units and to the right 2 units. Now we should recognize that 8 over 2 can be reduced to just 4 since A divided by 2 is 4. But we're going to write it as 4 over 1 because we want to think of slope as rise over run. Now again, the line we need to construct is going to be perpendicular, so we need a slope that's a negative reciprocal. So we'll take that 4 over 1 slope, and we are going to flip it and switch the sign. So our new slope is negative 1 over 4. So all we have to do now is take that slope and build off of point K by going down 1 unit and then over to the right 4, plotting a new point, and then connecting those two points and drawing a line through them. That line will be perpendicular to line T and passes through point K.